What's up guys, welcome back to the channel. So today I got a new mod, something that my sister gifted to me years ago and I'm gonna go ahead and put it on the skyline. Being a super JDM fanboy, um, actually I just love JDM cards from the 90s. I'm gonna go ahead and put these air fresheners, these tree frog air freshener thingy. Why did I say tree frog? This isn't even a tree frog. Icosia. I, I coach, I coach ya. Citrus lime crystal squash. Oh, wait. that's all the available ones. What one is this one? Well, it's the blue one, so I don't know. There it is, guys. Kind of light. It just smells like plastic. Oh, oh, there we are. It has like this like new car but not over the top smell. I can dig it, I can dig it. It's probably stupid of me making this video but I love car fresheners. Especially when it's not over the top. So uh, I assume you put the cartridge inside. Why does it zoom so crazy? <sighs> Jesus, why'd I do that? Why'd I do that? Ooh, smells really good. So, I assume it sits inside here. If it doesn't, then... No, nah, it has to sit in there. Doesn't make sense. Ooh, it also has this door thing too. Wow. Look at that, guys. Isn't that cool? So you can see how much of it you want to use. I just want to use a little bit. So I'm super... Well, somewhat cheap. So, I want to utilize it as long as I can. And that's it. Halfway is halfway's good. Put this back on. Smells good. Not much, but it's there. Also, they gave us double sided tape. So if you want to mount it onto like, your dashboard or whatever the hell it is, you could do that. So I might, I might do it. I don't know. Or maybe in the back of the console somewhere. But I mean, let's go try it out. I honestly have the most keys for a single human being. Yeah. Scion key, I don't know what those are for, S2000 key, house key, my girlfriend's car keys, and Skyline key. So now I have to like put it in my palm before I open it, I don't want it to scratch the black paint. Now, getting in the cockpit. If you watched that last video, you saw that I installed this steering wheel. It's a uh, Momo race steering wheel. I don't have the center ring, which I don't really need or want. Um, I do plan to refinish this center a little bit, so you don't see the color difference. Because you can tell this was like the original, and then this was like a faded. So, here it is. The uh, Nissan Maxima interior isn't that bad. It's pretty clean. Um, my buddy... Bobby I bought the car from he had the car for a few years and he actually resprayed this whole entire inside this center console it looks OEM but he actually resprayed it. it looks really really good so I give him a lot of respect for that cuz I mean people don't care too much about details but that's pretty clean I'm still deciding where I want to put it to be honest with you I have a turbo timer here um, that's already on the plastic so I guess it doesn't really matter where I put it, but I have to be very conscious about it. I don't want to put it in a random ass spot either. Um, I do have some random like coin cups or holders. And I do have what is this? A cigarette. A cigarette thing back here, which I don't smoke, so. Or you could just throw it underneath the seat and call it a day. Um, oof, it's so strong, like initially it wasn't that bad, but this scent is kind of, I don't know, foresty. It's so hard to explain. It's like a winter fresh, foresty car fresh. It's a car freshener. I think for the time being, I'm just going to throw it underneath my seat. Um, and of course, leave it open halfway. And if I don't really uh, smell it as much, then um, that's a good thing. If I smell it too much, then I'm going to have to close it up a little more. So here I am putting it underneath the seat. Should be fine. Oh, that's sick. I don't know why I didn't even look at this before. I got center carpets. That's sick as hell. 
Let's see. Okay. Here's mine. And I have no idea. Oh, there it is. <sighs> Let's go on that side. It smells like strawberry. Hmm. But, I mean, there's like a thin coat in here, but I don't really smell. Like, the car doesn't smell like that anymore. So, yeah, you guys are probably wondering where the hell I've been. Um, this is just going to be a vlog video for the most part. I still got to do a couple things on this car, but I just don't have the time. Um, I, I usually free up the weekends to make videos if uh, I studied throughout the week and um, I skipped a day or two so today is Saturday I'm gonna be studying but I just want to go ahead and keep you guys updated on what's going on here's my dog always barking this is my 30 gallon I just set up yesterday as you can see I don't really post aquarium videos anymore because I don't know I guess I I stopped vlogging as much if that makes sense but I got some platinum, two platinum angel fishes and 10 of these neon tetras I bought yesterday. These I've been had, but these I just got recently. That's a fake plant, just for the time being. Um, I wanted to do a nice little clean substrate, but as you can see the rocks or the, the substrate has some crap in it. So I wish I had some black sand instead. Got some dragon stones because it looks kind of cool out. I wish this whole tank was dragon stone um, landscape because I think it'll look a lot cooler. But these neon tetras are one of my top favorite fishes of all time. So I plan to get more. This 30 gallon could probably hold up to 20. 20 small neon tetras and these two fellas. So it'll be okay. In my room, here is my flower horn. It's a funny looking fish. It's an African cichlid for the most part. But it's been bred over and over, modified over and over to look like this with a giant hump. So he's pretty cool. I wish he was more red, but you know, every every single strand or genetic is different. But I love this guy. His name is Peanut. Had him for about a year. Um, he's by himself in this giant 150 gallon tank because he will fight and kill anybody he wants. So, um, aggressive little guy, but he's cool though. He follows me. So if I run over here, he's gonna swim. He's gonna swim towards me. Oh, wow. I guess he, he sees the camera, he's shy. Makes sense. So that's cool. Alright, Peanut. That's your uh, 60 seconds of fame. And here is my outdoor tub. Uh, my buddy Nick gifted this to me. I think it's a 125 gallon. Uh, 125 gallon tub. But I got four big angels in here. They're just chilling. Um, I had an issue where this was getting super, like, algae up. So I had to, like, buy some treatment. I did a bunch of water changes put treatment in there so now it's getting clear again as you can see um, this is my makeshift filter uh, it's got it going up there sucking the water up go to the back and straight into here pumps all the water up and it just flows over here so it's pretty cool yeah this is uh this is my backyard for the most part not much going on um, I do want to do some landscape here but I don't want to I don't want to do it right now it's too hot so as you can see I've been super busy uh, not crazy. I could I could make videos every day, but I don't want to keep shedding out daily content um, and have you guys like not want to watch anymore. Um, I don't really have an exciting life, although I do have a lot of hobbies and I try to balance them all. Like as you can see here, I have my PC here. I have some collectibles, all my Hot Wheels. Um, I took a break from collecting Hot Wheels because it kind of like it's kind of too much. If you do collect Hot Wheels, you know this year they're releasing a ton of fire. Like I can go super broke when it comes down to these releases. So I took a break from it. I started, I collected Funko Pops. As you can see, there's a bunch of uh, uh, Pokemon ones there. But I also limited myself on that with a certain ones because like I said, people who collect Funko Pops, it gets really addicting and you just gotta know when to stop. Uh, especially the Harry Potter ones, the Dragon Ball Z ones, and the Stranger Things. Like all those lines, there's like 50 to 100 of them, which is ridiculous why they keep, like some guy will pick up a goddamn freaking newspaper and boom, they make a Funko Pop out of it. So it's like, it's, it can't be a collectible when you keep making a different or alternation to that character. I don't know. It's just, I, I, I took a break from it because it was just overwhelming. Um, and, you know, it's just, it's just how it is. I, I always get into these things where I, I collect a bunch of stuff in like a month's time. And then I stop because I realize, you know, I need to, I'm overdoing it. So 
uh, in the past if you watched me before you know that I would do videos like non-stop for a month and I just take a break because one you get burnt out and then two I lose interest and then I start doing other stuff like collecting so being a youtuber is cool collaborating with people are cool doing ratchet stuff for clout is cool I guess but I'm an older guy I'm almost 30 years old and I just I, I try to stay true to myself no matter what if I don't want to do it I won't do it if there's questions being asked I won't answer it if I don't want to or if, it, if I don't know it um, and sometimes I just can't answer all the questions in the comments and I'm sorry for that but you know hopefully in the future we all have answers to something and you know for the time being I need to ask myself is doing YouTube videos more important than studying for my boards which is gonna be my future so um, I did talk about it in the last video towards the end but I edited it out because I mean I just it was so redundant irrelevant to the lug net video so um, I, I watched a couple Matt Mormon videos, uh, Obsessed Garage, I'm pretty sure some of you guys do as well. And he does throw some random vlogs in there time to time. Um, I, I did like that he was constantly making uh, videos and, and sets of projects and stuff, but with him too, he got burnt out. Um, and on top of that, he has a, a business to run because he's blowing up. But he, he makes random vlogs and he talks about it, and, and those select few people that actually watch those videos, you know, it's really nice to connect with the youtuber outside of all the content and i think that's what i've been noticing with a lot of people i have a, I have a lot of friends that are uh, into youtube and um some of them small some of them really big you know and being bigger youtuber there's a lot more opinions a lot more voices um and a lot more negativity if i, I guess i'll say I, I i don't care to become a big youtuber i just want to make an impression to the community that's what i'm going to say with my life so all those videos, all those do-it-yourself videos, you know, the walkthroughs and you know the failures that I've been through this whole entire four years or whatever it may be, um, it's for you guys and it's for me to watch in the future. You know, when I get older or look back on, it's just I don't care to be big because you know with with a lot of with a big YouTuber following, it does it does affect your mental health. Um, you do one thing wrong, and then instantly all those thousands of people millions of people just instantly go in and critique and tear you out and i don't want people like that subscribing to my channel or watching me at least so end the day if you're going to be honest and you're going to be true to everything um and support me for for whoever the hell i am which i'm a nobody um i really appreciate that a lot you know, I try to answer all the e uh, emails and all the messages on Instagram, but I've recently deleted all my apps so I can focus on studying, and that's the truth. Um, I do log into Instagram and Facebook from time to time to check my messages because um, through the Safari or the web browser, because I have messages come selling my car still, and, and you know, just all of that. Um, yeah, I'll see you guys on the next video. Thanks for staying and watching the whole thing, and um, I'll see you then. Peace.